welcome to the Cinema Verde website. If you've clicked this video, you're obviously looking to rent one of our Honda Putt Putt Jennies. These are 6,500 watt max Jennies. They're rated to run 5,500 watts continuous power. So when you're trying to figure out what lights you want to go with this, you need to total up the total wattage of the lights that you have. What I'd like to start off with is showing you some of the features of the Jenny so that when you're out in the field and you have to start it up or turn it off, connect and disconnect things, you can do that. This will just take a couple of minutes and we'll start with startup. The startup procedure for this uh, is first make sure you've topped off the fuel so that you can get the longest run of the day. You don't want to stop short way into the chute and then have to refuel. Um, high octane fuel so it runs stably. The next thing is here's the starter key. It has three positions off, on, and start. Here's the fuel switch. When you run this Jenny it has these two settings. We always keep it in the 120 volt setting. The echo throttle uh, is not useful for motion picture purposes, so we tape that off. It should always be in the off position. Next thing you'll want to do is turn the fuel to on. And then flip the key all the way to start, and it will start up. If the battery is dead, which might happen when you're out in the field and you can't do much about that, then what you would want to do is pretty much the same process. Fuel on, key to the on position, and then over here on the right side, in this little panel, you have the recoil starter. Turning it off is simply flipping the key to the off position and make sure you turn the fuel off also. And remember whenever you move the Jenny to turn the fuel flow off. The handles, you just swing them up, they lock into position. After you've wheeled it somewhere to unlock it, you just push both knobs down and push the handle down. What I wanted to cover here is uh, they have breaker switches here. so. These outlets are covered by these two breakers. If these break, you just push them back in. You check the load before. The connectors that you'll be using is this large 60 amp Bates connector. See that guy? Plugs right in there. The other receptacles you can use are the two Edisons here. Those, those will be live also, so you can run power from that as well. The other piece of gear on here that you'll be using is the indicator right here. First light indicating we have power to those guys. Overload alarm, if you're drawing way too much power for this guy, this light will come on and this display will flash. Low oil level, once the oil gets down to a certain point where damage could be caused, you'll see this oil light come on. Down here we have this display and it has four possible separate modes that it could run in indicated by the number one, two, three, and four, which would show in this window so that you would understand what this number is. And to switch modes, it's just a press of the button. And a press of the button, a press of the button, a press of the button, and then we're back to the original one again. <laughs> So what I want to talk about now is cabling up the Jenny. So we talked earlier about the 60 amp Bates cable, nice thick heavy copper so you can make a decent run without too much voltage loss. Just go ahead and plug that guy right in, raise the handle and you'll want to tie this off so you don't end up with a kick out in the middle of your show. And 
Then you take the other end to wherever it is you're going. Far enough away from that guy so you don't hear it in your audio. You can plug in a big light or you can split it with one of these guys. It's a 60 to 60 splitter. You just plug it right in. Now you just turned one into two and you can use a snack pack. And what the snack pack is, is it's basically just electrical outlets. And they have their own breakers. So if you plug something into one pair of outlets and you kick a breaker, it's right there. You just flip the switch. Try to figure out what actually caused the breaker to, to kick before you do that though. You plug that guy in. If you need a second one, rent a second one. <laughs> <laughs> plug that guy in lay them out at set and start plugging in your lights which brings us to what some people call extension cords we call stingers Home Depot sells extension cords but their wiring gauge isn't rated high enough to carry the amount of current some of these big lights draw you can end up with uh, people burning themselves on hot wire or getting electrocuted or a house fire. So use 12 gauge entertainment cable with Hubble ends. Also don't set anything on top of the Jenny while it's running or set it too close to anything. Three feet of clearance all the way around is a good thing. The last thing I wanted to go over was trying to figure out how many lights can you plug into this thing. And even though it's labeled as a 6500 watt generator, you can only run at peak power for about 30 minutes before the thing will overheat. That's the way they're made. That's why they say 5500 watts of continuous power draw. Lights and other electronic equipment is rated in how much power it draws by watts. So when you look at the various lights that you have, typically listed directly on the instrument itself is its power rating. And this is true of most electronic equipment. For example, regular household light bulbs, as well as your cinematic lights, have written right on them the wattage that they pull. On a side note, when you're dealing with plugging your computer into these putt-putts, along with your lighting equipment, if for some reason your electricians decide to turn the Jenny off because they're done with the lighting but your DIT guy is not done transferring the footage and he kills that computer that could be a very bad day also uh, depending on what you have plugged into this thing uh, if you have older HMI lights with magnetic ballast they can create a lot of noise in the line that computer equipment really doesn't like so if at all possible run the computers off the house, run the lights off the Jenny. If you're out remotely, just be careful and be aware of it and make sure your electricians check with you before snapping the thing off. Here we have a nice 2000 watt Fresnel light. On the back of some of them, they'll have the power that they draw. And in some cases, they'll have it on a plate written in the front so you know what you have. So when you're looking at your lighting instruments, whether they're these guys or even these HMIs over here, this is a 1200 watt daylight balanced HMI. On the back you can see that they have the plate. You might even be able to see that it shows 1200 there. So you can see that they list the wattage rating on each piece of electrical equipment that you plug into the Jenny. So when you plug in some of your bigger lights or a lot of smaller ones, you should be fine. But don't be surprised if your hair and makeup lady try to plug in a 1500 watt blow dryer or a curling iron and suddenly the lights go out. So it's everything you plug in. Not just the stuff on the big 60 amp baits, but also the stuff on the little 20 amp Edison plugs. It's the grand total. And you can push the button on the display at the front of the Jenny to see what your total power draw is. Try to keep it at 55 or below and you should be good.
Okay, so here I am sitting right next to this thing while it's running. This is what it sounds like. Now imagine when it's 50 feet away and you're shooting inside the house. So here's quite the array of lights. A 1200 par, a 400 par, an 800 watt par, a 250 watt Diva light, 2000 watt tungsten Fresnel. You can do the math and add up all those numbers and figure out how close to the 5500 watt maximum draw we are. And that's pretty much it. That concludes our little demo of the Honda 6500 Little Putt Putt Jenny. These things are great. They use an inverter so your energy is super clean, nice flicker free lighting. This is a really inexpensive way to go compared to renting the big Jenny and having to pay for a driver and all the craziness that goes with that. Thank you.